Hi, Jen. Hi. Um, we are, I am very happy you are, you are here and I want to thank you for this interview. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's lovely to be here. <laughs> thank you. Okay, I have a first question for you. Could you uh, explain what your method, Amichan bonding, is? Yeah, that's, that's uh, very easy because instead of getting a dog to do what I want, when we use amateur bonding, the dog wants to do it. We get the dog's goodwill. We create a willing partner. Mm -hmm. Because we look at what is of value to the dog, which we know is food, how to get that. We call it going for a walk, but then it's a hunt. What can hurt them, perceived danger, and where they are, where their personality fits in the scheme of the family or pack. We address that and this then makes the dog feel safe, willing to work with us and wanting to cooperate. Okay. The second is, uh, um, what is uh, your first advice for those who decided to take uh, a dog? Well, first of all, make sure you can afford it. I don't mean buying the dog, I mean caring for it. Because, you know, you may have veterinary bills. But also, make sure your home is ready for the dog. Because if you need gates, baby gates at doors to create blocks, really plan ahead. Never just think, let's go buy a dog, bring it home, and then try and work it out. You know, find out about dogs and how they think. That is the best thing. Mm -hmm. Always, okay. always check. Okay, thanks. Another question is, uh, men say that dog is uh, his best friend. Mm -hmm. But very often without knowing, knowing it, uh, he mistreats him. Yes. What does it mean to you to abuse a dog? Oh, th this, is, this is a great question because People have been taught to work with a dog a certain way. For example, teaching a dog to sit, they will be told to push the bottom to the ground. Well, that is using force, not a friendly thing to do. The dog uh, is on lead and they pull back. Again, that is abuse. So when I want a dog to sit, I think, the dog is like us. What is in this for me? Why should I do it? Just because you say so? Nah. And I teach a dog to sit. Food reward because they want something for doing something. And just tip over the head. And when the body naturally moves, then sit. Good dog. It usually takes two goes. Dog's got it. And teaching to walk on by my side nicely. No need. You do not need it. We start again. Food reward. What's in it for me? Here. And we move around and teach the dog what we want before we put the lead on. So when people say to me, how do I stop a dog pulling on a lead? Mm -hmm. Well, that's simple. You teach it what you want to begin <laughs> <Yeah>. with. <laughs> so abuse is it's not... Owners would be horrified to think, I'm abusing my dog. But traditional methods are all abuse. Where force, fear or pain mm -hmm. is used, it's wrong. Okay. Thank you. Why knowing the language is important? Oh, it is, it is why we are able to do this interview. You are Italian, your language is Italian. I do not speak Italian. Can you imagine if we were trying to discuss this with you speaking Italian and me speaking English? Yes. <laughs> you cannot communicate with anybody until you are speaking the same language. But it doesn't always have to be in words. If you have someone who is deaf, then we learn sign language for deaf people. It's the same thing. Dogs have their own language. And because we are blessed as humans 
to understand that, we are able to learn a way of using their language even though we're not built like them. Yes, yeah. so, uh, yeah, so if you want to um, help somebody, if you want to show affection, if you want to show danger to help, anything, unless you can communicate, it's going to be really, really yeah, yeah, difficult. Yes, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> Which is the role of the parents in a relationship between a child and a dog? Oh, it is to keep both safe. Because a child may tr treat the dog like a toy when it is not, and the dog may uh, be confused by the speed with which a child moves, or squealing when a child, whoa, dog. So my personal feelings are that no child under 14 years should be left alone with a dog. Mm -hmm. You must supervise, but also you want the dog to respect the child, but the child must be taught to respect the dog. Yeah. The child must be told to leave a dog they do not know, stranger danger, never, ah, oh, dog. Mm -hmm. The child is taught to ignore, to wait till everything is calm, and then call the dog to say hello because both sides need to have respect. The same as we are with, um, with Amish and Bonding, we show respect for the dog, mm -hmm. understand its language, use its language, and that creates a, a, a healthy relationship where no abuse or um, pushing, no, no, no manipulation happens. It is equal. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. I terminated the question, it's a big, very little interview, but I would add uh, um, another question. Yeah. Yes, because I would like, uh, um, if you can explain to us your experience in Yellowstone with the wolf. Oh, oh Why boy. is important for you? Why is it important? Well, because although I had studied film and thought, you know, could work out who was doing what and why. Actually going to Yellowstone, sitting and watching for hours and hours, all weathers, going back in summer, winter, fall, always there. What I could see was how they function without humans. Mm -hmm. How they, how nature has prepared them for this life. And you see that they do not want to fight. They do not want to meet their own kind. You have a pack in territory, another pack in territory, keep their distance. Mm -hmm. So when people think they should all be together, it's like, no, we do not want that. And I have been able to see how gentle they are, what dedicated parents they are and basically how they move as one. There is so much understanding between them. It's, they're simpatico, you know, they are so warm to one another. Mm -hmm. And it is, for me, I knew how to work with them in the same way I knew how to drive a car. I take a key and I make sure the tyres are pumped up and I put fuel in that's my knowledge of cars. But when you lift the bonnet and look underneath, this is what drives it all. That is what I've done with going to Yellowstone. I understood how to communicate in the same way the car, but going to Yellowstone was like me lifting the bonnet and finding why it happens. They really gave up a lot of their secrets. So I was able to understand when, for example, um, one wolf is out on its own, it's just sitting away from the others. I understand that this one has been a bit naughty mm. and it's like, back off, they know to. And so it is getting to know more personally what they're about. And I have loved it. It's been um, the best education I could have had. Yeah. Okay, thank you for this interview. and. Uh, 
I hope you see you very soon. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. But you still retain the power of food. And if you are working with your dog and using food reward, mm -hmm. you are still using food. So you are always in control of the food. Mm -hmm. So that makes you leader. Yeah. There is a film of me with five dogs on lead, mm -hmm. and in my hand is a coffee. Yeah. It's, it's a, <laughs> and I go to the door, I put coffee in my hand with five leads, mm -hmm. open the door, Go yes, through. The coffee is inside of the mug. Yeah, yeah, the coffee, yeah <laughs> yes. it does not come out, yes. And I cr take my coffee, walk out, coffee in hand, close the door, and set off, and my dogs are all relaxed by the side. It's important for the young, you do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Young, to see the adult dogs. Yeah. That the, uh, the, they, um, they have the right behavior. Yeah. Yes, oh, it's important because yeah. she she learns. She, she learns. learns. She learns from them because where they have an advantage with each other is that they recognize being the same breed. They recognize every subtle movement. Yes, it's, it's actually very simple. Yes, like me. It's yes. simple. No, 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 no. It's simple. It's simple. <laughs> yes. Do listen to you. <laughs> and anyone can do it. This mm. is the beauty. Anyone who wants to. Yeah, and we do it. You do we'll it. We'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I will. I would like to listen to you all the day. But now <laughs> no, we must go. You have to see the material and see. Yes. See. I have okay. never seen them. I have never seen the Mediterranean. Yes. Sea.